Welcome, I'm from is a Nokia 2.4 and today I'll show you how to bypass the Google verification. So if you manage to somehow restart the device uh, without actually needing to confirm anything, then props to you. Uh, so now it's going to be the fun part of actually bypassing this. So right here we have an option to actually bypass or well unlock it in this case uh, using a pattern that was previously set or using a Google account. So one thing that I'll mention, keep in mind the previous page, which was the pattern uh, for an unlocking method, because we're just going to completely um, mess up with it and change it up. So uh, obviously you can see that the phone is locked. So now let's go back to the first page as it basically where we want to be. And uh, before you actually change the language, I would recommend you to connect to some kind of Wi-Fi, assuming you are not already. And once you are from there, go back to the first page and change the language to any kind of other language that uses a different keyboard. So basically anything from here upwards up to, let's see, somewhere. I think somewhere to like, well, right over here, somewhere between like Greek and below should work just fine enough. Now there is some exceptions to this. Keep in mind, I'll show you uh, what I mean by this. So go on the top one, whatever. Uh, I'm I guess I picked some Russian, but I don't know exactly. So anyway, now we're gonna progress through this. Now, if you're just like me and you just picked a language that you do not know, um, it's kind of easy to go through this. Basically, you wanna tap wherever I am pressing. So right here, uh, I'm gonna skip this by tapping right up here. It's gonna take us to the next page. After it basically checks the Google stuff, so Give it a minute or so. There we go. So here uh, it asks us to back up or restore the device. We want to select this button right here. So no thanks. It's going to go further again. And there we go. So this is the locked page. So obviously we don't know the pattern. So we're going to click on right here to use a Google account. And in here, simply tap on a field, we'll bring up a keyboard, and you can see that because the keyboard is in a different language, it gives us the globe icon right here. So what I meant, almost any language will work. If you see this uh, globe icon, that means that the language that you picked is good enough. Uh, but if you do not actually see this, uh, this globe, then you'll just need to go back, change it to, I guess, any different language uh, than what you picked, and go back here. And if you see the globe icon, then that's great. So once you see it, uh, what you want to do is hold that icon. It will bring up a language settings right here. So we have an option to change it back to QWERTY, which that's what I'm going to go. I chose the second option right here. And it changes the keyboard. Then I'm going to hold it again and go to the language settings, which is the text below that. And in here, we're going to add a keyboard, which is this blue button at the bottom. And in here, you want to pick any kind of uh, keyboard uh, that doesn't have an arrow. As you can see, there's one with an arrow, so completely disregard that one. Just pick one without it. I'm gonna just select whatever. And from here, once you choose one of those, tap on the add button, which is the blue button right over here. And there we go. So we have added a keyboard. And now what we want to do is again, back out to the, to the first page and change the language back to our desired language, which for me, it's gonna be English. There we go, English. And again, we're going back to the verification page. Again, let's use the Google account instead. Let's again tap on the field and again, hold the globe icon. And once more, we're gonna go into the language settings, add a keyboard, and this time around we're looking for an option with an arrow. So there is one Albanian and English, uh, that is the first one at least. And once you choose an option with an arrow, you can see that it gives us a couple different language options, but honestly, that doesn't really matter. What matters is the three dot option that is visible right now. So once you tap on it, it will give us the option to uh, choose help and feedback. Let's select it. And now 
in the support section for describe your issue right here you want to type in a morse code or just two first letters so m o and it will bring it up as suggested so you use morse code want to select it and as you can see this option right here has a video so we're going to tap on it it's going to load it up there we go and now we have again another three option on the video so let's click on it and choose watch later which in turn will open up web browser and there, are, there we go let's stop on accept and continue and no thanks and from here we're gonna type in hard reset info slash bypass so that info slash bypass so like so if you need a moment to write it down then pause the video i'm gonna progress further now so enter and this should take you right over here now if you see like any kind of pop-up just consent to it so now we want to scroll down and you can see that there uh, there we have settings application so simply tap on the settings it will open up settings on the phone and now all we need to do is scroll down to security in security choose screen pinning enable it and then choose a lock device when unpinning and this will basically allow us to set up a screen lock now like i mentioned before pay attention to the fact that before one of the options to basically unlock the device was using a pattern so just to not make it the same i'm gonna go with a pin so i'm gonna completely change it up so here we can set up our pin uh it can be whatever you want uh four digit uh well it must have four digits and that can be any kind of digits you want so i'm gonna just make something super complicated one two three four tap on next one two three four now i would recommend you to set it up the same as i do it's gonna make it a little bit easier later on when i'm telling you to put in one two three four basically so once you have inserted it confirm it and uh, this will basically save your screen lock and now i'm gonna stop this i don't want to use a fingerprint so there we go we can see that we have now screen pinning enabled and lock device when unpinning also is enabled and all we need to do now is hold the power key select restart and let's wait for the device to power back on so this will take us back to the first page of the setup screen so number one let's pull up uh, and as you can see it gives us a dial pad this is basically the uh, pin that we have chosen so one two three four shabam it's unlocked and now let's again change the language to uh, actual desired language there we go english and let's go and once more we're going to progress to the setup again till the point that we get to the verification page now once we do get to that verification page you will see a clear distinction that has well affected what we have done that has affected the device now so let's just wait for it to load up through this uh painfully excruciatingly long load don't copy And as you can see right now, this is the verification page that we had previously uh, pattern set on here. But now it's telling us to verify our pin. So, one, two, three, four. Good enough, unlocked. So let's let it run through it. It's gonna next give us an option to log into. Uh, let's try again. So it should give us an option to right now log into a Google account once it actually unlocks it. Okay, there we go. So you can see sign in. Um, so I'm gonna select, simply select skip. Now I would still recommend you to perform a factory data reset through settings uh, once we have well once we have finished the setup right here, just to remove any kind of leftovers from the old account because it is still uh, present on this phone. So let's actually quickly finish up the setup and I will show you where you can do that from. Now as you can see I'm skipping basically everything because at this moment it doesn't really matter what we set up. The device will still need to be reset it so just skip through anything that you can.
and there we go so we are right now on the home screen from here we're gonna go into these settings scroll all the way down to system then tap on advanced where you will find the reset options and simply select erase all data factory reset again delete all data once you tap on it the process will basically begin uh, removing everything uh, which on, in this case it's gonna be only the google account and once it's finished the device at that point will be fully unlocked uh, and well well you will be once more in the setup screen but at that point you can set it up as however you like the device will be fully unlocked and you can do whatever you want with it um, now i'm not going to be going through the reset right now because it just would be a waste of time honestly i already most likely seen how the device is reset it and also most likely know how to go through the setup of the device so past that there is no real need to go any further so that is how you would bypass the google verification on this phone and if you found this video helpful don't forget to hit like subscribe and thanks for watching